We're going to cover Kubernetes as a web developer and why you should care. But before we get into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel and costs you nothing. Kubernetes, also known as K8, is an open source system for automating deployment, scaling, and the management of containerized applications. Basically, it orchestrates containers. But what does that even actually mean? Well, let's take a step back. What is a container? A container is a standard unit of software that's all packaged up with its code, with its dependencies, so the application can run quickly on any environment and the same, so you get no surprises. So you could deploy and run your container anywhere, but what happens if that container crashes, or you want to scale it, or you want to have multiple containers to handle traffic, or you want to do a, a release, or you don't want the traffic to be sent to your new release until it's up and running, and then you can discard the old container, the old release, and that all sounds quite complicated to manage it manually. Well, Kubernetes allows you to do that all automatically for you, just with some YAML config that you can see behind me. It doesn't look too scary, right? We've got some specifications. We're talking about what kind it is. We've got some metadata. We've also got our spec, like how many containers do we want running? We want two at the moment. I could easily change that to four and Kubernetes will just take care of that for me. I talk about which container is being deployed and what port it's available on. But what I really like about the replica set is you can scale up to five or 10 or as many as you want, as long as your VM allows you. But not only that, when you do a deployment, it will keep traffic going to the old container, the previous one, until the new one is ready and automatically route traffic through to the new one, then delete the old container. So no one notices any weird experiences, which I think is really awesome. And you might be thinking, well, I can't afford a cloud version of Kubernetes. Well, you could run this locally on Minikube, or you could run it within the cloud. I use Sivo. You can get a Kubernetes cluster up and running within like 90 seconds, and it's about $5 a month. And you can run a lot of apps on that $5. Let me get back to that in a moment. So now you know what it is, and it actually isn't as scary as you think, then why should you care as a web developer? Well, you really should. And I'm not saying you need to become an expert or a DevOps engineer, but I'm saying you should have a play with it, have an appreciation for it. It will really help your conversations with colleagues, DevOps teams, and the people that you interview with. Do you remember the days of trying to split a VM in the cloud? So therefore, you could host multiple apps on it. You could host WordPress. You could host an Nginx app. You could host something else just to try and keep the cost down. Well, Kubernetes makes that really, really simple to do. You could host your own apps, or you could actually host well-known apps like WordPress, for example. They're already containerized. I mean, look at Docker Hub. It has got Mongo, Redis, like so many other things. You can just get the URL for these and deploy them to your Kubernetes cluster really with one line of YAML config. So if you wanted two projects or three projects or even 30 projects or clients, well, you can do that on your one cluster. And if you're used to package managers like on your uh, Node, for example, you've got NPM and other languages and ecosystems have them as well. Well, Kubernetes has one as well. So if you want to deploy anything for your logging, to centralize your logging to certain authentication or anything like that, well, we've got you covered. Kubernetes has Helms. So you can then add packages as you need to a Kubernetes cluster. So I would really like you to have a basic understanding and appreciation of how you can stand out as a web developer. So people don't negotiate you down in an interview, they negotiate you up because they want you so much. They understand you're a web dev, but they understand that you appreciate more than just your area. You're thinking about the DevOps people where you're going to pass your code over. Imagine you can test that locally and make sure that there's no surprises. People will love you for that. So with a bit more work, you could double your income. And I mean that seriously. I see it happen all the time. Plus, there are so many open source projects out there which, which would really welcome your support and you'll get real world experience at the same time. So what are you waiting for? Go and have fun and I'll see you in the open source world and let's geek out.